Hi YouTube, welcome to All About the Pokey. Yes, this used to be the Pokey Dad channel, but um, I have been pleasantly informed that there is another Pokey Dad who I will leave um, a link in the description because the guy actually does a whole lot of uploads and knows a whole lot more about Pokemon than I do. As I've said in the beginning, that I'm still a beginner at this whole Pokemon thing, and so I'm still learning. And did not know when I started my channel that there was a Pokey Dad already in existence. So, Pokey Dad, rock on, and I am going to change the name and get rid of my identity crisis to All About the Pokey. So, today's opening is going to be a Resilient Life deck and a Primal Clash pack. So, I hope you enjoy the opening and let me know what you think. Okay, so here's what we have we have a Basic XY Xerneas deck and a Primal Clash pack for the day, and we're going to start with the XY Xerneas deck. I'm going to go ahead and open up that XY Xerneas deck and um, get start pulling things out. So we'll pause it right here and be right back. All right, we got the basic box open now, so that'll be where we start with the Xerneas deck. So, as you can see, it's uh, the Xerneas with the Hollow and a Pokemon coin that came with it. It also comes with a playmat that has, I guess, the XY theme for the bench. And then we've also got some more damage counters. Oh, the wonderful little cardboard damage counters. Gotta love those. So what's in this Pokemon box? Oh, what's in the XY expansion? So they're talking about evolutions. I think everybody has probably already seen this. And so, there's the coin. I mean, people were doing XY on boxes from the very, very beginning of XY. So, there's the Xerneas. This isn't anything new. And then the card for putting everything on the Pokemon TCG. Here's what comes in the box as it comes out of the box. Energies. Energies. A scallopede. scallopede. Another energy, a super potion, professor's letter, fairy energy, phantom, venipede, swirlux, jigglypuff, the other Xerneas that's not hollow, <clears throat> another energy, slurpuff, tierno, oh, roller skates, spritzies, energy, that was fairy energy, phantom, great ball, a um, psychic energy, Pumpkaboo, Whirlipede, Duo, du, Do Duo, Fairy Energy, Fairy Energy, Professor Sycamore, which I guess is the new version of Professor Juniper. That's what I'm learning anyway. Ekans, Fairy Energy, Venipede, Jigglypuff, Spoink, Swirlex, Dodrio, Fairy Energy, Tierno, Fairy Garden, Aromatisse, which is part of the reason why I got this whole set, is I love the Fairy Garden, Aromatisse, um, energy moval kind of thing, and then to use Xerneas to be able to pull it out. Psychic Energy, Mr. Mime, Professor's Letter, more Psychic Energy, Dodrio, Evo Soda, Mr. Mime, Ekans, another Fairy Energy, a Great Ball, Whirlipede, Doduo, Venipede, Spoink, and a Fairy Energy. And that's everything that came in that pack. Next we're going to open up the Primal Clash. This is going to take a second, so right here. These typically take just a few moments. Get it out of the pack. Flip it over, do the three card thing. And we're ready to see what we got in Primal Clash. This is a Linuni, a Vibrava, a Gorbis, a Lumis, Hippopotas, Slugma, Nidoran, Trap Inch, Dive Ball, and a Mag Cargo. So those were the cards that we got from the Primal Clash pack. 
So I wanted to give a shout out in this episode to Tony Gwen. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly, um, for his response about the Robo Substitute Pokemon. So I'm going to read to you what he said. As for Robo Substitute, it is an item card that turns into a basic Pokemon only when you put it on your bench. Because it's not considered a Pokemon while in your hand, you cannot choose it as your active Pokemon at the start of a game, but you may play it any time during your turn. When it's on your bench, you can retreat another Pokemon into Robo Substitute or switch into it when your active Pokemon is knocked out. It cannot retreat just as the text says, so but you can discard it to switch into a different Pokemon on your turn. It also has no attacks. You can guess that it cannot attack. <laughs> Check. However, it's still treated as a basic Pokemon while in play. So as you may so you may attach a tool card or energy cards to it if you wish. It's basically a dummy to stall up 30 damage because your opponent can't get a prize card for knocking it out. Tony, thank you for that, and I really appreciate it. For this week, I have got a question about a little guy named Ditto. I'm going to read to you what Ditto's um, ability says. It's the metamorphosis gene. If this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, it can use the attacks of your opponent's active Pokemon. You still need the necessary energy to use each attack. So the question is, is do I need the exact energy or do I need to have just enough energy on Ditto to be able to make that attack happen? So say for instance, if I need a fire, water, colorless energy, can I put three energies on there of any kind or does it need to be the fire water colorless energy anybody who can answer that you'd have my appreciation and i really look forward to hearing from you all have a good one